Public libraries shuttered during much of the pandemic are now reinventing themselves to keep up with this digital world we're in. On Long Island, for example, a brand new $25 million library has just opened in South Huntington. And as CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff shows us, creative new offerings may be coming to your neighborhood as well. What's a surround sound movie theater doing in a library and a state of the art kitchen? Our librarians are going to be teaching kids, you know, how to make soup or make a salad or how to roast a chicken. The community had its wish list for the new Half Hollow Hills Library, and the result is a model for the library of the future. Vintage card catalogs are filled with free vegetable seeds. This is essentially the card catalog gone digital. We have come leaps and bounds from microfiche. We are fully covered with Wi Fi, so patrons can come in 6 a.m. 2 o'clock in the morning or during our operating hours, and there's Wi Fi fully accessible in the entire parking lot. It is a whole new world. A 21st century library is a community space, a place where people can gather, learn, exchange ideas, enjoy concerts. There's padded flooring for soundproofed fitness classes, technology for community meetings, a maker space with engravers and 3D printers. It's a 3D model of a Pokemon. We're printing it for a local child. We are also printing bones for a local doctor. He uses it to teach medical school. A modern day library it really functions as a place for people to explore their curiosity while we engage with them and educate them. We're going to be coming a lot more often. The library is for everything that you're interested in. And all of it's sustainable. Cork flooring, geocooling, even the parking lot asphalt was reused. And the library no longer just lends books and newspapers. There are now hotspots you could take home and streaming sticks loaded with hundreds of hours of programming for free. But none of this comes for free. Funded by taxpayers, demand doubled for e-books in just the last five years. And we're seeing people coming back to the libraries in droves. Uh, we're seeing the young people using it as a social space after school. The challenge is balancing those needs. The director of Suffolk Library says every community library is working toward keeping up with demand, which the pandemic sped up dramatically. In South Huntington, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. And the Library of the Future also will help with homework, job coaching, even offering a podcast studio. And best of all here, Maurice, even non-residents are welcome. Sounds like we need to get back to the library. It's been a while.